Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? You won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually doing to be what we're actually going to <laughs> well, that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Uh, um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayuri is putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry, who's been calling a poster holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be forming in front of a group of people like that. I I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yui shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayuri! I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun! That's right! And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. Uh, God, I cracked. <laughs> I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sari looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. My ears hurt. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sari and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help her help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Ooh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. 
N -n 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 no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you, do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course! Now, let's see. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I read it in my head. <laughs> she then stands behind the podium. Okay, so I said she flips through a notebook to see like the poems she wants to read. Yes. <laughs> she then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is. Wait, no, no, no. My turn, my turn. <laughs> the title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. A clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to add emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Saria looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Irie? Uh, I'll go next. Yeah. <laughs> Power. Yuri's so fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. I may not have chosen her, but I'm cheering. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. Not quietly. She walks quickly <laughs> over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her, as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward, and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we don't want to applaud for her, but we were caught off so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Sorry, hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called Mind Meadow. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, uh, try not to think of it like you're saying to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sorry begins her poem. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, I am sorry. Wait, sorry is the real Thera? Oh wait. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh wait. I thought she was saying she's the real one. Honestly, they're pretty similar. <laughs> Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. 
The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sarari is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sarari's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sarari meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I never... Th I thought I knew through and through. <laughs> Sarari finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sarari! <laughs> Even Bebs liked it. <laughs> I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayuri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. You don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. <laughs> Don't maybe go before Bebs. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Bebs lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly, begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're present. Oh. Oh, no, that's me. Oh, dang, <laughs> that's me, bro. <laughs> you cheat your face. <laughs> dang, I'm shook. Because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Wait. I don't. I don't like where this is going. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nasuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as it gives life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too! 
It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica. But I'll do my best to get through it. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Johnny. Boy. Boy, Johnny. Bye. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. I'm surprised he's sleeping early. He'll be back up in like two hours. <laughs> right? <laughs> if it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sari? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, you guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Bibs. You don't have to see it. Whatever, let's go already. I walk home with Sari once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sari is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like, I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sorry, fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, you asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What, qu what kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> you want to save? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Yuri? Is that the Yeah, the purple, purple hair. Mm, mm, nah, you, yeah, you're you know, walking we... home with the 2D mm, beds. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, but she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Bips. You think about me too much sometimes. You would deserve it if you wanted it, so... Sorry, I've made... I already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird thing for Sari to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Foreshadow. Foreshadow. Want to save for this too, or? I mean, we weren't too far, but yeah. Oh, still. okay. No, I was just saying, just in case. Spooky. Spooky. Step squad. Yes. Uh. All right. Okay. How y'all? How y'all doing? Party. Your turn. Uh. She's amazing. Kiss. No! <laughs> Get her ass out of here. You like the Sundares. Excitement. Let's see. Okay. Massacre. Ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joy. Adventure. Jumpy is this one. You remember. <laughs> Smile. Hurt. 
Agnes. Oh my. Hey, Shailene Ooh. says we need to get into voice acting. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Shailene, you got connections, right? Hook her up. Honestly, like, low key thinking about becoming a voice actor in the future as a side job. <laughs> she put eyes. <laughs> Is it my turn? Uh, no, it's my turn. Uh, uh. Okay. Fun. Oh, it was fun someone Family. Else. Family? I feel like... Oh, good. <laughs> desire. Is she desire? No, desire is boobs. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> sticky. Yo, who's getting sticky in here? It's only been two days. I call main character in your film. Main star. Woo! Number one star. <laughs> I got clothes. Let's see. Which one we should be? Rose? Have we tried Rose? It's <laughs> sticky. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no, it's smelling <laughs> like the like, no, lollipops, cupcakes, frosting. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Not the other sticky. I was she was eating like certain mangoes and. No. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty. <gasps> oh. Special as in like special needs or or as in that girl's or as in purple hair girl is too special in her own way, which is introverted. Other one's special because she's a tr I forgot the word. Soon there. Explode. Oh my god, <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Diamond explains happiness. Maybe she's gonna explode. Someone giggle. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Please, you can't break it. This own. <laughs> Cute? No, no, cute. Yes. Um. Papa. Oriented. Did we choose that one before? There's a name Papa in there. Papa? That name. It's Papa. not a name, it's a word. Disorientated, right? We've done that before. Disoriented? Yeah. More like clumsy? Aquarius. Can you say it? Aquarius? Is oh. that how you pronounce it? Aquarius? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Alright, let's go for Yeah! Right. You got it right. No! No! <laughs> I think the other. <laughs> <laughs> no! Guess who? No. It's not Pito. What? I don't know who. Who says ya? Yeah? I would have I would have said King, but I, I haven't told King. Unless he's not a group chat. Noel. Noel? You think Noel won't tell no, ya? Yeah. Nathan. <laughs> no, they haven't seen the chat. Your coworkers? No. Yeah. Do can you give me a hint? I I don't know what to choose. I'll let, oh wait, loud. I'll choose loud. Never said it. What'd you say? Noel. We said like five names. Noel? <laughs> Noel don't type like that. Disarray. Coworkers. No. <laughs> Are you my coworker? Coworker? <laughs> <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Could you be Nathan? Nathan? It's not Nathan. Not Nathan. You'd be like Nathan Bo or some shit. You right, you right. <laughs> Oh, wait, is she hopeless? She's a whirlwind. Stop! I don't want you! Wait. Oh. No, Lemon wants us to keep going. Okay, fine. fine. <laughs> I think. I think. Like I think it. Sandals was no! hinting at. We don't want you, purple. No, it was the pink one that jumped. Oh. Alright, let's get this right. Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. Should we work together? Silly. Yeah. Um. Uh, oh, he meant you oh. would pick to play. <laughs> oh. <laughs> play, don't be the chat. I still want to know who Cararius is. What do you mean, y'all to? <laughs> y'all to what? What did they say? Is it Cass? I don't know. He's like the only other overnighter here. Oh, that's too much information. Alright. Fashion, <laughs> after image. Ooh. Cheeks! 
Look how happy her cheeks are. Maybe cheeks. Go for cheeks. The booty cheeks? Not the booty cheeks. But she has plumper cheeks. Are oh, you right? Passion? Bunny. Twirl? Twirl. She did twirl. <laughs> no! Alright, happiness. happiness. Yeah. Bed. Bed. Oh, it go bed. Yeah. Okay. I don't think we messed up. I think we got mostly here. Poof. What does that mean? Which poof What's would have been? Poof is a, a sirey thing. Uh huh. Poof is one of the words. Hmm. Oh man. I'm the last one here again! Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too! Ah! I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah... I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. Wish we had that. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. I know, right? <laughs> Monica, do you do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. You say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> huh? In translation to English? What do you mean? Man, Eka doesn't sound like squid. So it only works in Japanese. Oh. <laughs> in, in, I slow. Calamari! I love calamari. Never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where's Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in a corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. You're spacing out again. Uh-uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sorry shows a big smile. I'm not burp. I'm not burping. <laughs> That's so cool. That's nasty. The squid. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly glanced at Sari before turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed, with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sari recently. Since they've been since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approached Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Babs, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? 
anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sari, who's idly dragging a rubber er eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Bebs. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And they also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up, bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Bebs. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Sayuri talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sorry, it is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Bebs. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sari is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sari and gently talk to her. But she keeps... But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sari told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now, it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. An ordinary? There... We gotta watch it, we gotta read it. <laughs> but there's something I can do besides wait for Monica. Okay, everyone! After some time passes, Monica calls out to the, cl to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything's back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what sh she was talking about with Sari. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Bebs. Err, uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course! Everything is fine. You mean just a little tired today. <laughs> You want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Bebs. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah... I guess you're the one who likes the... likes this... I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? 
You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength for something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the mo the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you, Sayori. N no, Babs, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sorry, has trouble keeping her voice steady. All of a sudden, if you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sorry, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sorry. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me, tell me what will cheer you up. Sorry, shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Bebs. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? It's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sorry. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sorry cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. We get to see your poem. I know. I know. Monica. Yeah. And that's it. Hey, Babs. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayuri's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me. About how Sayuri's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well, Babs, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not. I've been treating her like I always do. Alright, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sayuri's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Err, uh, alright. The lady who knows everything. Oh wait, the lady who knows everything. An old tale, an old tale tells of a lady who wanders the earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day, I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the tw twi twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall and fall even more, gentle as a feather, 
A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her grace. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist, and with a breath she flows, blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Wow. 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 There's no meaning, there's no purpose. No meaning, no purpose. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are two-dimensional creatures. <gasps> They're not 2D? Then what is... Y'all are 2D. What is that? <laughs> I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that! Oh. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Okay. I was thinking about saving. Should I just save? Eh, uh, no, it's fine. No, okay. Oh, I forgot this is me. <laughs> this chill. one's alright. All right. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Gah. Natsuki elbow connects with my stomach. Gah. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I, I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. <laughs> well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway... Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. <clears throat> ooh, ooh. I'll be your beach. <laughs> <laughs> be my beach. <laughs> I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that you makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. 
and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in the footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. <sighs> you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of a metaphorical too. But there's some, there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a good practice. <laughs> very deep. Very deep. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. Oh no. Oh, she no. knows. She, I swear she she can hear us. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But she'll leave her be for now. Oh no. <laughs> I should really have a zoom in. Wait, I make my like hold my camera big. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't you I, do that when you edit videos? No, I can set that up right now. Oh. I can put a hockey for like my camera to be all over. Are you right? Well, no, not right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, do it. I'll do it next time. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? It's you. Something did sound a bit unusual. That's that's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. <gasps> she didn't say okay, everyone. <laughs> she said okay, you three. She just really says <gasps> okay, everyone. Cause cause one of us is missing. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. What? In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sari isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. <sighs> Sari always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she would just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the time to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sari. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. Aww. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... <laughs> she ignored you. <laughs> Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. 
That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and stumbling all the poetry pam pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri? Yuri, you can... Ah, uh, um... Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Now Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sari enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you now that she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri <laughs> Best grill for sure Best grill Yuri's expression suddenly changed as she stares at her desk and focused and starts nodding to herself Your mind is already racing I see That's great You'll be a wonderful help Yuri But anyway That just leaves you bed the one who is truly useless. <laughs> That's me. No, I say that. Uh, you don't. You don't get to. Oh, sorry. Call me out. You don't have that privilege. I thought it was Monica calling you out. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, useless. Are we so <laughs> Whoops. The one who is truly useless. Uh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. It would be really, I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Besides Sayori? <gasps> How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. <laughs> Bebs may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. And she really wants you- Hold on! I never said that! <laughs> How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Bebs to... What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think... Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Bebs to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides... He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... <laughs> <laughs> you literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Babs, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. <gasps> okay, good. There's a lot of save files because we're going to need that. <laughs> uh... Yuri? Look, okay, we said this already. Yuri is at the bottom of the tier list, okay? We have an S class, she is Z. You don't like the shy girls. 
Well, he don't like the shy girls. I do, to some extent. But I don't want to force the character to be with someone that's having troubles to communicate, right? You want the Sundar or Monica? <laughs> or you see that one right there? Oh wait, Sayori. it says Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. I. We have to, right? Yes, we have to. Okay, but that's so fucked up. Oh shoot. Hmm. Like imagine you being at school, you have three people who are like, hey, hang out with me, hang out with me, hang out with me. You're like, I'm actually hanging out with Jacob from across the street. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, they gave no. us like, they told us that we should choose one of those three and then Sayuri's <laughs> in the picture. Look, it has it has like, three dots too. Like, Sayuri! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> You do it? That's yeah, so cruel. Fudge it. Let's just do it. Look, okay. In Everyone's real life, saying do Sayuri. <laughs> usually, what I do is I go with what I would do in real life, and I feel like I don't know if I actually would have chosen Sayuri in real life. Like, if I was put <laughs> up to it, I might have chosen the other three. Let's just try cause... with saying Fudge it. I'm not trying to curse. <laughs> yeah, let's say Fudge it. Yeah, I, I felt a little weird cussing just then. Yeah, uh, we're sen we're censored channel now. Even censored though we're, channel. We're playing this Doki Doki game. Family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing bad's happened so far. Monica. Right. No. No, okay. Cheru switched three times. I mean, he's gone to three. Right. <laughs> you don't trust the Cheru. Do you do it? Okay, we saved. <laughs> I think for a first playthrough, we shouldn't reset at all, but... Yeah. Uh, Demonetize, oh no! We gotta choose Sayuri, cause we're like, oh, sh I, we, uh. we, I feel <laughs> she left, so we gotta be with her as her best friend. Yes, mm -hmm. as her best friend. <laughs> I Cheru <laughs> just put in everyone. <laughs> I, I mean... Put in everyone. If it's going to be anyone... Then I prefer helping Sari. I mean, we're already neighbors and... Oh, <laughs> here comes <laughs> what we, Monica said. We're so gonna die. Monica said that Sari was helping her. Jeez. Do you really hate us that much? N no Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> the game has forced us. Wait, wait, it said Monica was gonna help Saori, right? So we help Monica would be helping Saori. Yeah. I mean granted I would have chosen Saori. <laughs> I would have chosen Monica anyways. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was gonna Budget. Monica's our second favorite. We're doing Monica. I mean I really I really like Natsuki, the Sundari type, but Monica second. Always. Alright. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second! Y yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh, but... I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayuri as well. <laughs> But Babs is the one who... Uh... That doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsibility, responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. <laughs> Flat is justice. See, she would have. she's third, so she's second. She's third favorite, okay? Ulterior motives? What are you- what, what are you saying, Sire? Not Sire, Yuri. <laughs> In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah! We have a lot of work to do, you know. We wouldn't- we won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe. That's true. Think of the club, Monica. <laughs> if you want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, ah. Uh. 
So, are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. It's technically most logical for Bebs to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are these girls so difficult? <laughs> Would this have happened if we chose one of them in the first place? I guess. No, we don't care about Yuri. Yo, it's all about Natsuki. We <laughs> have to flat as justice. <laughs> yeah, flat as justice. Come on, y'all. <laughs> I know she is, but but Natsuki. I'm not thick either. <laughs> Your heart's thick. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki. Yeah, yeah so you, know, you know what's good. You know what's up. All right. <laughs> True. You know. Get, Oh wait, no, he's been he's been vouching for Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Screw you, Yuri. This is like the third time we had to choose. <laughs> <laughs> well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so we could probably use you two. Earth Earth Chan! <laughs> Earth Chan. They spell Earth Chan differently. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Earth John. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. <laughs> you, you'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that. Th that's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Oh, sorry. <laughs> of course. I'm used to it, after all. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, no. I don't know what happened. Oh, well. Oh, no. Well, thank you, Lemon Bits, if something happened, but... Yeah, thank you, Lemon Bits. <laughs> but, poor sandals. Hello, Earth-chan. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. She always makes us feel bad for her. <laughs> so that's everything, right? I know. Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. I don't think that really counts. What about you? No, 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 me. What about you, Bebs? <laughs> Chris said, I said a swear. <laughs> me? I guess you could say I'm interested in to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki mm. mm. starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't oh, mean- I feel bad. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. They'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. 
Natsuki releases her hand and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um... Not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki, of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I beg to un I, but I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> Natsuki gives me her phone. Okay. Her number. Not her phone. Her, her number. <laughs> I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait! You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, it ha like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you'd better look forward to it. Uh oh. Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well... I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like... In front of everyone... That I was looking forward to this. Wait. Really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh... Never mind. <laughs>